your Stoma Care nurse will visit you daily, Monday to Friday, and will provide guidance on how to use your Stoma bags. Ward nurses will be able to assist you at weekends. This will start with a demonstration the first day after your operation. After this point, we will encourage you to be increasingly self-sufficient. The nurse will supervise you as you learn to care for your stoma yourself. It is hoped that by day five, you will be able to change your pouch unsupervised. The most appropriate place to change your stoma bag is the bathroom. Make sure you have the following at hand. Warm water. Non-woven wipes, not tissue. Disposable polythene bags. Medical adhesive remover. Barrier wipes. And a fresh stoma bag. First, wash your hands. If you are using a drainable pouch, empty its contents into the toilet. Gently and slowly ease off the pouch, supporting the skin with one hand. To assist with the removal, adhesive remover can be applied to the sealed side of the old flange. Place the pouch into a polythene bag. If you are using a flushable pouch, separate the inner lining and flush it down the toilet. The outer lining is placed in a polythene bag and placed in a domestic waste bin. Never flush the stoma bag or its parts down the toilet unless it is a flushable pouch. Clean any excess soiling from around the stoma with a dry gauze swab. Wash the stoma and the surrounding areas with warm water and gauze swabs. Do not rub. Dry the area thoroughly, patting gently with another dry gauze. Again, do not rub. Apply a barrier wipe to the skin around the stoma to protect the area, then wait until it is dry. If necessary, measure the size of the stoma with a measuring card. If the pouch needs adjusting, cut it to the required size using a pair of scissors. Remove the protective cover from the back of the flange. If you are using a one-piece pouch, press the pouch over the stoma, ensuring good contact with the skin. Allow a few minutes for the adhesive to bond to the skin. Then finish by washing your hands. Two-piece pouches are similar to change as their one-piece counterparts and the previous instructions should be followed. The only difference is a two-piece pouch has a separate flange, which is secured against the skin first. This can be kept in place for two to three days and pouches attached and disposed of as required. All used pouches are disposed of in the same manner. All used pouches and cleaning materials are placed in the polythene bag, double knotted and placed in a normal refuse bin. Prior to your discharge, the stoma nurse will have assessed you as being competent in your stoma care. Discharge advice will be given. This will include an anticipated recovery time. Your recovery is a gradual process and it may take up to three months to recover fully. You will be provided with enough supplies to last for two weeks. Your stoma care nurse can arrange for supplies to be delivered to your home on a monthly basis. One advantage of this is that the pouches can be pre-cut, ready to fit your individual stoma after it has settled. This is usually about six weeks. Once home, your stoma care nurse will telephone you one to two days after discharge. 
she will check your progress and answer any queries you may have. A community stone nurse will periodically visit you at home until you are well enough to attend a community clinic. For the duration of time you have your stoma, you can always access the stoma care team via telephone Monday to Friday during office hours for support and advice. Outside of these times, you can contact your GP. For a short period of time after your operation, you can contact the ward from which you were discharged. In addition, there are also support groups such as the Colostomy Association and the Ileostomy and Internal Pouch Group.